Hello and welcome to Cretaceous Cantina. We're back with another review because we like reviews and that's what we do. Today's review is being presented in glorious 4K and hopefully that'll make up for the fact that my voice is kind of off because I am getting over a cold. Ew, colds. So today we're looking at the Mattel Jurassic World Tyrannosaurus Rex Ambush Playset. So a little bit of history on this set. This was supposed to be a Toys R Us exclusive here in the US. Unfortunately, Toys R Us went under and uh, when that happened, Mattel basically halted production on this playset. And whatever stock was produced, they eventually sent to Toys R Us Canada for distribution. And uh, it ended up going online over the past month uh, through Toys R Us Canada. And uh, luckily, Jarrett from JP Toys, uh, got to give him a shout out because he was tremendously awesome and was super cool to have picked up a second set for me. Uh, if you guys recall, I did get this set actually before. Uh, from Mattel. They actually sent me a sample of it. I didn't want to open that. I was going to wait till I got a second set in order to do that. And here it is. I'm really happy to have one to review because I'm really happy to have one. Shut up, Ice Maker. I'm really happy to have one to review because there's been a lot of hype about this particular set in the generator. And I know that at San Diego Comic Con, Mattel gave one or two of these out to very lucky people. And uh, we're going to review it. So let's talk about the packaging here. Uh, as you can see, it's a typical Jurassic World packaging that we had for most of 2018. It was actually part of the Destructosaurs line, which is why it says Destructosaurs. Fun name, very annoying name to actually type out when you're writing on your phone, trust me. Uh, but the presentation is pretty awesome. You get a volcano in the background and you can see all of the contents within the packaging. I absolutely love that. The box says that you have magnetic destruction. Who doesn't love that kind of thing? When we take a look at the back, we get some more images of the toys in action. We can actually see what magnetic destruction looks like, complete with little red squiggly line. Can't wait to try that out. At the bottom left, you can see some other items available in the Destructosaurs lineup. That's the Copter playset that comes with the Pteranodon, which we did review previously. It's a pretty fun set. And uh, it's really too bad about Destructosaurs because I was hoping that the entire line would make it to the US, but so far we've gotten is the Copter Attack playset. Uh, this set, of course, is Canadian, and uh, the rest of the Destructosaurs uh, won't be released in the U.S. They are available, it seems, primarily in um, South America, Central America, and uh, even Russia for some reason. Uh, in any case, the sides are pretty typical for the Jurassic World toy line. And here is the other side right here, and it's looking pretty nice. All right, so the next step of course, is to get this completely out of the box. That way we can take a closer look at the contents. We'll compare it with the legacy version of the T-Rex and we'll see exactly what's different between all of these items. And of course, we'll take a look at that generator because magnetic destruction and all. All right, guys, let me take care of that and we'll be right back. All right, you guys, so here are the contents of the T-Rex Ambush playset out of the packaging. And I like what I'm seeing here. I mean, this feels like a very well-rounded set. You get your T-Rex, you get your human, and you get your generator accessory. And all of it looks great. So let's focus first on the T-Rex, as I know a lot of people have been wondering if it's any different from the legacy version of the T-Rex. See ya, see ya too. The T-Rex itself, you can see, has the exact same sculpt as the legacy T-Rex. That doesn't mean it's identical, but the sculpt is in fact the same. As was the case before, it's a beautiful silhouette. It may not be 100% accurate to the film. Obviously some concessions were made like the oversized feet for balancing and to the size of the torso in relation to the head. That's okay. I still think it looks phenomenal. And I think it is a little bit more proportionate compared to the thrash and throw, which just has a really huge head. So um, it does look really nice. And it doesn't quite matter what angle you're looking at Rexy from. She looks great. In fact, I think that the legacy slash ambush version of the Mattel T-Rex is probably the best one for using for toy photography. Just because she's smaller, she's compact, but she's not small. She's still a pretty good size compared to your human figures, compared to your other dinosaurs in this line. And of course, I love the extra joints, the extra articulation that this version has compared to the other T-Rexes in the Mattel Jurassic line. All right, so let's do our comparison here. On the left, we have the Destructosaurus T-Rex. On the right, we have the Legacy T-Rex. Again, same exact sculpt. The main difference here is that you have a retooled lower jaw and a slightly different 
paint scheme. Uh, just looking at them side by side, you can kind of see that the shades of brown and shades of red are very slightly different. I mean, it's, it's kind of even hard to say that they're that different because they're so similar. It, the differences are just very, very slight. The main thing you're going to notice about these two is that the Destructive Source T-Rex actually has some metallic paint on her snout, uh, whereas the Legacy version is just matte, no, no metallic there. Um, and it's very subtle. All of the Destructive Source seem to have some metallic paint uh, on them, usually around the head area. And this is no exception. You get the metallic paint there. It's very subtle. You could easily say that that's just wet maybe slicked from the rain, and it doesn't really detract from the overall aesthetic of the figure. Now, I did mention that the jaw is retooled. Let me show you what I mean. So if we open the mouse on both of these, you'll see that you have the tongue, uh, you can see is in the downward position here. There's actually a retool of this, and I've gone over this before. I'm sure you guys know it. Um, the original one had the tongue more in the center. This one has it a little bit lower in the mouth. Uh, this new one, doesn't have the tongue sticking out at all. It's basically just sculpted to the lower jaw. So it does have a tongue, it's just sculpted down there. Um, so yeah, retooled lower jaw. Um, I actually quite like this better. I don't really, I mean, that's not bad either. It just looks a little funny. Um, this actually looks a lot nicer to me, a little bit more like the thrash and throw, a little bit more like the anatomy kit uh, stem T-Rex. So that is pretty nice. I kind of wish they would have taken this approach there. But you know what? I don't make those decisions. So if you open the mouth up, you do have a magnet right there. Uh, keep this in mind because this is going to come in handy a little bit later. Again, because it is a Destructosaurus item, uh, it is going to have that magnetic play feature that the other items have as well. Everything else about both of these is exactly the same. The articulation and joints work exactly the same way. You still have to assemble the tail in the Destructosaurus T-Rex, so that is the same. All right, now let's take a look at the mercenary. On the left, we have the Destructosaurus mercenary, and on the right, we have the single-packed mercenary from the main line. There are two differences here. The biggest one is that if you look at the muscle shirt that the mercenary is wearing, it's kind of a lighter green color here on the single-packed release, whereas with the Destructosaurus, it's the same dark green color that the vest is painted. You'll also notice that the belt buckle detail on the single-packed release is painted, whereas it is not on the Destructosaurus version. Sculpts are 100% the same. Articulation is 100% the same. It's just those smaller paint details that are different between the two figures. And uh, I think the single pack one actually looks better. I mean, aside from the belt buckle not being painted on the Destructosaurus version, I just think that the lighter green muscle shirt, you know, stands out a little bit better. Just looks a little more interesting to me. All right, and then we have our generator accessory, which I think might just very well be the most exciting thing about this set. And it looks pretty nice. Uh, it's got a pretty nice sculpt to it. Basically, it's like a box design, and then you have this piece in the middle. Um, I like the way that it looks. I like how these spokes right here have that metallic paint applied to give it that more realistic sort of look. And then you have these little red notches there at the top. Uh, even the doors are painted a little bit differently from the base. Um, which is pretty interesting. There's a little bit of detail you can see on the bottom as well. If you want to read those details there, about 2017 Mattel made in China. Um, so each of these little doors is on a hinge. Um, you push them upward and you'll see that these little spokes plug into these sockets right there, just like that, and they stay put. Uh, each of the doors is slightly different. Like this one has that little... Um, electricity symbol and it has um, nice metallic paint to those little slats right there uh, and this door right here um, actually doesn't have that detail painted but it does have these slash marks right there which is a nice touch and then the one over here just has the Jurassic World logo you got your T-Rex and it looks like maybe a little bit more damage right there sculpted into the piece there um, so when you have it completely closed up that's basically what you are left with and remember that magnet I pointed out in the T-Rex's snout well that's where your Rex comes in so we're gonna go to open her mouth find the magnet and then the very top right there of the generator we're gonna go ahead and beat on that a little bit or just tap it and it pops up in just like that. That is pretty cool. It just basically like poof. So I want to try that again. I really like, I really like that. And this time let's go ahead and add our little mercenary guy back over here. Put him back in here so he has some extra dino damage inflicted upon him. And she can almost pick it up. Or she can pick it up. So you can see that the magnet is in there and of course 
the magnet is what uh, prompts these doors to just fly open. So there's got to be some sort of mechanism inside that releases the clips from those sockets and uh, releases them uh, fully so they pop open. So that is super cool. This is a great accessory. It's really too bad that uh, this hasn't been mass released. Um, even without the magnets, if, even if it had just a button there, that would be super fun uh, in and of itself. Um, but yeah, I, I really dig this. This is awesome. <laughs> I love that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. This is the Mattel Jurassic World Destructosaurus Tyrannosaurus Rex Ambush Playset. Overall, you guys, this is a fantastic item absolutely fantastic and it's really a shame that it did not make it to the u.s it's really too bad toys r us went out of business because they were going to carry a bunch of exclusives from mattel that ultimately have been kind of hard to place and i know mattel's done a really good job of getting some of those items elsewhere like walmart.com has gotten the slime sets the lava search play set the quest for indominus pack the copter attack play set which is also an amazon uh, those other destructosaurs again have shown up uh, in canada like this set and then the smaller packs have ended up in central america south america and uh, a few other places here and there but this set in particular i mean it's got Rex, you know, perhaps the most iconic dinosaur in the entire Jurassic World and Jurassic Park franchise. But it's also got the mercenary and it's got the generator enabling you to recreate that epic opening scene from Fallen Kingdom. So it's really quite tragic that this set isn't going to be widely available because I know a lot of people would probably love it. It's a lot of fun and it's one of those sets that would make a great gift if you were able to get it for like a child or someone who is just massively into Jurassic Park. Lots of playability, lots of fun. Perhaps one of the finest items in the entire Mattel Jurassic World toy line. It's just too bad that it's not getting mass released because of the situation with Toys R Us closing down. Um, but if you're a collector, no doubt you're probably going to want to add this to your collection, even if it's to keep it boxed. I'm really glad I got a second because I love the generator. I love all of the playability here. At the end of the day, I think that's what it's all about, how much fun these toys are. And with this set, you do get a great deal of fun. All right, my friends, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on the T-Rex Ambush playset down below. Uh, I really hope that Mattel finds another way to get this generator out there because it's super fun. Again, even if it just had a button, that would be awesome. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for the latest news and updates. And as always, I'd like to thank you for tuning in to Cretaceous Cantina. Until next time, bye-bye.